Hi there, and thank you so much for taking your time to actually watch the, um, this video. This video really is going out for anybody that might be just getting started involved in network marketing, and you need some help um, to obviously initially get people to actually look at what you're doing, yeah? I've said it before, you could have the best opportunity in the world, best compensation plan, best everything. If you can't get people to look at what you're doing, then obviously you're not gonna succeed. So um, this video is gonna be about, obviously what you can be doing. You know, what can you do every day um, to actually get people to look at what you're doing? Now this will be dependent upon, obviously your day, whether you work in an office, whether you're like me, you're out and about, and you've obviously got more opportunity to talk to people. You know, different factors will determine obviously what you can do in your day but uh, um, obviously you need to make a plan yeah you need to make a plan um, i'm going to say very quickly if you want to know what i'm doing i'll leave a link below to the company um basically like a free tour of what i do but um this is not what this is really about this is about obviously how you can promote your business if you're not in a if you're in a network and you want to promote your business what can you be doing well the first thing you need to, need to do which I've, I've kind of um, spoke about in some of my videos, is you need to make, make make sure that you're accountable for you're accountable for your daily activity. So I would first say, initially write down what you can do, how long you can actually spend per day on your opportunity, right? So let's say you've got an hour, an hour to spend. You need to determine whether that hour is office based or whether it's, you know, whether you're out and about when you're able to do it, because that's going to determine the different methods that I talk about. Let's say, for example, you've got an hour a day and you're, you're office based. So you're up London. It might be that you're up London and you're working and you are, um, you, you know, you're indoors on your computer. So the first thing I would say, if you've got an opportunity and you've got time, like half hour, 20 minutes a day, look at start using LinkedIn. I've done a video on this about how I recruit people on LinkedIn, what I message them, how I contact them, what I actually say to them. And obviously, you know, you could look to using that method. So, you know, it might be that you're at work, you've, you know, you've got half hour to spare. It might be that you're you know that you're at work and you've not got a lot to do. You've got a very easy day. Your governor's gone out. Start using that time to actually build a business. Yeah. Start using your your company's time to obviously build a business. Start talking to people. Start connecting with connecting with people, and start exposing your opportunity. Use LinkedIn. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I do. Um. I've spoke about it in other videos. I use um, I use a lot of uh, drop cards. I go to um, um, as we um, as I'm making this video. I'm at a big shopping uh, car park near me, and uh, um, every not every day, but I've, I'm you know I'm I try and put cards out somewhere wherever I am every day. I put drop cards out, um, basically saying to people, you know, do you need more money? Are you looking for an, an extra uh, form of income? Um, we offer a, um, a great home-based business, um, something you can do from home, hours that suit you. For more details, please check out this website. And I've got my own link. I've spoke about it in other videos. My link is www.dumpyourboss.co.uk. Yeah? Um, they go to that link. They look, they can take a tour and find out what I'm doing, um, enter their name and email. And then the company that I work for, it's got like a series of follow-ups that kind of keep, not pestering the people, but chasing them and showing them, giving them like re-exposing the opportunity, yeah? So that's a great way to do it, drop cards. I've had a lot of success with, uh, success with that. Um, shop window ads, magnetic car signs, um, Books, you know, years ago I was over a boot fair and there, um, we, we was I was actually doing my main job, which is actually um, 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 doing like home, getting leads for like a home improvement company. 
and uh, um, I, that's what I do now. My, my, my main source of income is actually getting inquiries, and I earn commissions. And while I was over there, we were selling. We we was over there. Um, my son and my daughter was down the end, and they had their own little stall, and they was actually selling like books and different things. And I put my I put my cards inside all these books. So as people were picking the books up, my cards were falling out of them. Yeah, and. It's, again, you're exposing your opportunity, yeah? You're exposing your opportunity. You know, it might be that you're up London. I spoke about it in another video where I was up London one day and I was on, an, on, a, on a train and people had left their free papers. These Metro, I think it was called Metro or some other papers. And I would write on the page, need extra income? Check out this link, www.dumpyourboss.co.uk. I'd write it on four or five of the pages on a two or three of the papers. And, and I used to do it, if I was up and down to London, the amount of times I'd done that was crazy. And I sometimes got inquiries, because when I followed up with the people, I said to them, where'd you get my number? Oh, do you know what? Someone wrote it in a, someone wrote uh, this link in a paper. I thought, yeah, that was me. Do you know what I mean? It's all about, it's all about getting people um, to see what you're doing. And I think the mistake... Definitely the mistake that I made um, early on when I first started networking years ago, the mistake I made, and this was a big mistake, was chasing people who kind of like chased them almost down the street to give them a card. And then if they kind of, you know, said that they were even a little bit interested in earning more money, I used to stand there telling them all about it and you wear yourself out. You, you haven't got to do that. You haven't. You that ain't what I do now. Yeah, I um, I do different things every day to expose people to my opportunity. Yeah, it's like this video. As much as this video is obviously, I'm trying to build my channel on YouTube. It, I'll be honest, it's slow. Um, but it's also a way of obviously, hopefully, someone might see my video, want to know about what it is I do, and they'll check out my link, yeah, you're kind of, you're putting loads of, um, loads of, loads and loads of hooks in the water, yeah, and all you're doing is you're waiting for different people, someone might, you know, I might get a lead coming tomorrow, oh, they've seen, oh, they've seen my website in a news agents on, on a shop window ad, or oh, I won, I, I won the other day, oh, I see you, um, when I rung them up, Oh yeah, um, I see your advert on your on your car. Now that was because my wife's car has got a little sign on it. Uh, do you want to work from home? And obviously they'd they'd come in from that. Yeah, I've had ones where they've rung up. Oh, I see a sign on a van, and that's the van I'm sitting in now. Yeah, people parked in a car park all day. Why not put a sign on it? Costs very very little to get signs done. If you're in a network and you've got a car and you've got a lead capture page where you've got a means of capturing people's details, invest in a invest in a car sign. Go on eBay, you know, get a like a very you can get very cheap vinyl letters cut out, stick it on your car. You know, interested in working from home, do you need to earn more money? To find out more, visit, get a domain name, and then link that domain name to your lead capture page. Yeah, not obviously, not obviously, as I've said before, to your company's main website. The last thing you want people doing is seeing exactly what it is or who you work for and then thinking about it and then two or three days later thinking, oh, yeah, do you know what, that, 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 that was quite interesting, what that bloke was doing. And all of a sudden they go and sign up through someone else. You don't want them to do that. Obviously, you, you know, you ain't going to earn any money. You know, people who join my network... If they, if they join and then they start earning money, then obviously that's good for me. If they join and they don't earn no money, then I don't earn no money. So it's fair. So you obviously want to be promoting something where, you know, you don't want to be promoting a network and, uh, and recruiting a team and the team going directly to your company's main recruitment page, yeah? I, like I say, I've spoke about it in other videos. I made this mistake a long, long while ago. It's something I don't do now. Yeah, so think about, you know, all the, 
put into action. You know, I think as well, another big part of it is, I know for me, when I first started as well, it's belief. It's belief, which then comes down to mindset. If you enter a company, if you go into like a network and there's people above it, there's all these people above you who are earning loads of money, you know, good money, like two, three grand a month or more. You know, some of them, the guy, the guy that's above me, he's doing fantastically well. And then you think, you know, you kind of, you kind of sometimes, you know, if you're new to it, you definitely question yourself. You think, is it possible? Is this really possible? And that's where mindset comes into play. Yeah. The, I think the biggest earners in, in, in networking are people like the guy that's above me, Peter, his mindset is completely, he started doing so well that now he's kind of like, I can't explain it, he's, you know, he's, he's he, he knows it, he, he knows it's work, he, he knows it works, and it comes across, yeah, and obviously one day when he first started, first started, he perhaps never had the mindset that he was going to do well, but Obviously, hopefully, the obviously people that were above him inspired him. He had some good coaches, helped him obviously kind of keep his belief that what he was doing today is going to help him ten years from now. Because that's the trouble with networking. If there's one thing that I think I know when I first started that it was the not it was the not knowing that what you was doing was working. So if you're in a network. Especially if you've just joined and there's people around you who seem to be doing a lot better than what you do. I think you, I think you need to remind yourself and give yourself a break and say, look, you know, you've just got involved. Um, um, don't expect miracles. You know, if you've only been in network, if you've only been in for two, three, four months and nothing really... You know, you've perhaps not recruited anyone yet, or it perhaps ain't happening for you. You need to really look at, look at what, look at the people above you, look at what they're doing, and then be critical with yourself and say, what have you really done? You see, you can't expect um, a great um, end result if you're not, Doing things that justify that end result, yeah. So you know, if in in ending this video, I think, I think you need to, you know, make a daily plan. That's what I do. That's what I do now, religiously now. I do it every day, yeah. I do certain things every day to help build my network. I put out cards virtually every day, unless for some reason I've I'm doing a job with my son. And I and I literally have not had no time. Then obviously that's fair enough. You can't you can't make something out of nothing, yeah. But if you know, if you know that if you know that, say so like today for example, I've not had the ultra busiest day. There ain't no reason for me not to try and build my team. I can't moan about it if it don't happen, because I've not I've not gone out there to actually do it. So today, I'm making a video, yeah? I might not get many people watch it. Who knows? It, I can't control that, yeah? The other thing my upline told me, and which I, which I kind of heard years ago, was that you cannot... Um, the one thing you can't control in your, net, in, in your network is that you cannot control your results. You can help produce better results by doing more activity. Yeah, so my upline in a previous big business I was in, he said, don't, he said, you know, you've just started. Don't worry about your results today. He said, because you've literally only been in the business for two, three weeks. He said, just focus on, just keep focusing on your activity. Just keep going. Just keep talking to people. Keep handing your cards out. Put a shop window ad in. Yeah, put a, put a sign on your car. Yeah, message, you know, one of the things I do now, which I spoke about it earlier in the video, was LinkedIn, yeah? I met, I contact um, every day, and it could be 10, 11 o'clock at night. I could be, I was sitting there the other night watching Sherlock a couple of nights ago, 
I was watching, I like Sherlock Holmes, and I was watching it on a, um, I was watching it on, uh, on one, one of those, I think it was uh, Prime, Prime, Amazon Prime, I've got it on, and I'm sitting there, and I'm watching it, and I love it, I just like the geezer in it, I think he's, you know, he's, 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 a, he's my sort of programme, but while I was doing it, um, I was looking at all the people that had accepted me, I, I send a message like a connection request on LinkedIn, and I've done videos on that, and uh, um, all the people that had, that had accepted me, I think I had about thirty people. I was just clicking on their, clicking on their, on their, on their message, sending them a, a reply, copy and pasting it. I've spoke about it before. Hi, hi, Christine. Thanks for accepting um, my connection request. It was kind of you to do so. The reason for the connection was because I see you're in sales, um, and. Uh, um, I hope you don't mind me asking you, but I'm looking for people who might be open to the idea of earning more money. Yeah, can I ask you, would you be interested in knowing more about what I do if it don't affect your current role? Now, that's not it exactly. I've actually got it all written out, abbreviated and shortened, but that was like off the top of my head. But that's what I say, and that's what I send them. And then the next time I go on LinkedIn, it might be a day, might be two days later, all of a sudden, I'll go on and I'll see I've had three or four people come back. Oh, that's okay, Colin. Always always keep my options open. Send a link across or it'll say, no, thank you. Not for me. Or they'll, or sometimes you get one, oh, what's this about? You know, and obviously, but you started a conversation. See, one thing you've done is, yeah, is that you've shown the people that obviously say they might be interested... What I do then is send them a link where they have to enter their name and email to view what it is I do. Straight away, I've got another pair of eyes on my opportunity, you see. Yeah? Now, they might look at, watch the video, and they might think this is not for me, and they might forget about it. But a week later, three days later, five days later, my autoresponder, it sends them, it sends them, uh, it sends them another video. Yeah? explaining it another side about it, another side about the business you've got to be doing these things you've got to be you know you've got to be um exposing your opportunity to as many people as you possibly can and you need to be doing it as many times you as many times of the day as you can for as long as you can yeah i wish i could talk to a million people a day but you can't but that's what social media's for. That's what YouTube's for. That's what Instagram's for. You need to be posting on there, not spamming. You know, but just talking, messaging to people, talking, talking to people. Are you open? Are you open to earning more money? Who do you know in your family who is not open to earning more money? I don't know anyone that don't want to earn more money. Yeah? So when people say to me, oh, I don't know who to talk to, I say to them, well, who have you, the first thing I say to anyone that joins me is I say, well, who have you spoke to? Who have you told about what you do? Oh, I don't really, and they say to me, I don't really know anyone. And I say to them, I say to them, let them be the judge of whether it's for them or not. Tell everybody, yeah? Shout it from the rooftops almost. Obviously be a little bit, you know. But you need to, you need to be showing people what you do. I hope this has helped you. I hope this inspired you. It's a, um, like I say, if you want to know about my team and want to find out about um, my opportunity, check out the link below. Um, you can take the free tour. It's all explained. But yeah, you, you know, you've just got to, whatever business you're in. You know, when I look back years ago and I tried a network, which I didn't do right right years ago and I, and I didn't do any, any good at it. When I think back at it, it wasn't because it wasn't a good business, because I because I know now knowing what I know now, I know to, I know today that it, that that was a good business. The reason I didn't succeed here was because I wasn't doing the things I was supposed to do. I wasn't doing my daily activity. Yeah, daily activity is everything. Yeah, and I'm going to end the video on one note. Don't think about. What results you're going to get from what you do today. Only concentrate on your activity today. I'm going to go out now. Putting some cards out. 
talking to a few people. I'm handing out some uh, leaflets for my main business as well. Yeah, talking, um, talking to people. And I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know whether anyone's going to join my business today. I don't know if anyone's going to search and find out what I'm even doing today. But what I do know is that I can concentrate on my activity and then that will give people the opportunity, should they so desire, to find out more about what I do. And then if they do, some of them are going to buy it. Like me, when I see my video, I thought, you know what, I can do that. Yeah, when I see the presentation, I can do that. Yeah, that's something I'm interested in doing as well. It's something that I'm interested in, the actual, what the opportunity is about. And I was in. I see the video, and then I was in. Yeah. So, but it might be that 10 people see the video, and none of them come in. And then the 11th person that you've shown the video thinks, you know what, I can do that, and all of a sudden they're in. And it's all been as a result directly of what you've done today. Yeah? Yeah? And the other thing is, if I've got time, if the video ends, I apologise, it's because the memory on my phone's going. But the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're writing down what you're saying you're going to do and holding yourself accountable. If you say you're going to put out 100 cards a day and that's not realistic, drop it to 50 but then make that 50 cards a day, make it like you've got to do it. If you don't do it today, you're going to do 100 tomorrow, but you've got to do it, yeah? Your bank balance is dependent on it. Your, whether you move into a nicer house, whether you can afford, like, I don't know, a beautiful holiday, whatever it is you're doing, that's dependent on what you do today, yeah? I have spoke about it on other videos. I've had people join my business from a card that they've had like a year ago. Oh, I had a card. I've, I've, I've just I've just recently looked at it. It wasn't, and it might be that they've been made redundant or they've gone in and they found out their wife's having a baby and their baby's got to leave work. It doesn't matter what their circumstances are. Again, you can't control that. What you can control, you can control whether you give them a card. You can control whether you say, here, um, can I just give you a card? Yeah. It's, it's all about, that's what it's about. If, 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 if you're in network marketing, if you're new to it, if you're thinking of joining a network, like I say, you're only going to earn any money if you share it, yeah? If you share it. If you share it. If, I always say to people, if you share, you care. Especially if, you've got your, if you're like me, you're in a good network and you think, well, hold on a minute, that person might, that person might need this business, Yeah? Sharing is caring, and guess what? If they decide to participate and grab the ball by the horns and obviously go forward with it and do the opportunity, who knows? They could be your next diamond distributor. They could be the they could be the, the that one, that one person could be the person that makes or breaks your network. Yeah, person above me. There was a guy watching the other day. And like he had one person that he'd sponsored 400 people into his business. All because he got one person. That one person had brought 400 people in. Can you imagine that? I mean, that's not happened to me. I can only, only dream. But, you know, it, it does happen. It takes time, but it does happen. So give people the leaflet. Show them the opportunity. Give them the chance to decide whether or not it's for them or not. That's not for you to decide. I hope this helps. Um, please share. Leave a message. Ask me a question. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate your subscription. Trying to grow my channel. But have a great day. Start putting some of these um, ideas, some of these practices, yeah, some of these uh, strategies into action. And make sure you do them every single day. Your business depends on it. Thank you.